Um, she got these for $18 at an estate sale and sold them for $314.97 plus shipping. I probably would have walked right past it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how Mindful Recycle turned $697 into $4,548.27 with just 23 items. Now, when I tell you she is a big money Bolo finder, I am not kidding, this woman is incredible and if you are not following her you have got to go subscribe because her what sale her what sold videos are fantastic i will link her down below along with her ebay store definitely go subscribe she like i said is incredible so let's get started here with what sold all right and by the time you guys see this she will have up probably one or two more what sold videos so new information on her channel um, after you watch this for sure. All right. So it's not like you're going to go over to her channel and see these same what solds. All right. So the first item, actually, you know what? Let's look at her channel. This is Mindful Recycle Terry, and she talks about what she sells. She also does haul videos and different things, but all of it is super educational. She has great keywords she sources things that you may pass by, and she is also willing to pay up if she knows she can flip it for a high profit. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Every item in this video sold for over $100. One item sold for over $500. So let's get started here with the first item after I show you her store. Her eBay store is also Mindful Recycle. You can follow her by clicking on on the saved seller, the little heart. She has 899 followers. Let's get her to a thousand. You definitely want to keep an eye on what she's selling because she knows what to look for. She knows how to price things and she knows her stuff. So check her out. The first item, nope. The first item here are these $1 gaming token, $1 Las Vegas, Nevada, 12 various casino coins, lot of 33. Um, let's just keep a tally of how many of these items I would have walked past. Uh, yes, I probably would have walked past these. She paid $3 for these at an estate sale and sold them for $148.47 plus shipping. The next item I probably would have picked up just because it's new in the package. It's a Seagate Backup Plus. And I actually use, I think I have a Seagate and this is how I back up my MacBook. So this is a great product. So I probably definitely would have picked it up, but I might have kept it if it was compatible with my MacBook. So anyway, estate sale, $5. I can't believe she got this for $5. These things are not cheap. She sold this for $134.97 plus shipping. This beautiful Seth Thomas Blackwood mantle clock from the early 1900s, she is selling it for parts only. And she got this at a garage sale for 10 and flipped it for $125 plus shipping. Again, for parts, the item doesn't work. And she still sold it for that much money. It's beautiful. This is a Bodine, I think, or Bodine electric NCI 12R gear motor, gear motor. Um, definitely probably would have walked past this one. My husband, he would have picked it up, but me, no. Uh -uh. Got it at an estate sale for $8 and sold it for $145 plus shipping. This next item is an East Harbor Ferry set of three, Department 56, Christmas in the City with box. She got this at an estate sale for $21 and sold it for $134.97 plus shipping. And I mentioned this in the other video, Terry Mindful Recycle picks up a lot of Department 56. They are not all created equal, but you know, she has, I don't know if she comps them all, but I feel like at this point in time, she probably just knows what's good because she really, really finds a lot of these. This is a realistic direct entry communication receiver, tested and working. 
It was at an estate sale for $10 and she sold it for $149.97 plus shipping. This is an Egyptian Hathor AGI gold statue sculpture goddess of women and motherhood, motherhood vintage. So it's a statue. She got it at an estate sale for $50 and sold it for $175 plus shipping. Model Master Testers Paint Discontinued Spray Cans, Lot of 17, New Old Stock, New Unused. This one came from a hobby shop buyout. She had $23 in this and sold it for $144.97 plus shipping. This is a Boeing model kit. It's an airlines plane kit by Heller. And this one came from a model buyout. She paid $2 for it and sold it for $139.97 plus shipping. This next item is the Delphian Course 10 part book set, Conky Company. She got these at an estate sale for $20 and sold them for $179.97 plus shipping. This is another thing Mindful Recycle picks up that I walk past every time. Number one, they're heavy. I don't want to ship them. I don't know anything about them. So follow her for more tips and tricks on selling things like this. This I definitely would have picked up. Fisher Price, Little People, Main Street, many extras, vintage, complete with box. Estate sale, she did pay up for this. She paid $65 for it. I probably would not have done that. Um, just because I typically source cheaper than that. But again, she knows what to look for. She knows the value and she's willing to pay up and good for her. Um, I'm cheap and probably miss out on a lot of opportunities because of it. Uh, she sold this for $149 plus shipping. You know, that's why it's always good to get different views from different peoples because a lot of people are willing to pay up and take lower margins because they know it's going to sell fast for a good profit. Me, I'm willing to sit on my items a little longer and pay less. So there are so many different business models that work and everybody is different. You have to choose what works for you. Now, if I would have searched this and saw that it sold for 150, would I have paid 65? I, I still don't think I would have. I probably would have paid 20. <laughs> but again, you know, you just have to figure out what works for you. This next item is new retail price, $795 Stort Weitzman, I think, Witzman, Weitzman, uh, knee-high black leather tall boots. And she got these on Whatnot for $97 and sold them for $175 plus shipping. So again, willing to pay up for an item because she knows what she can get for it. And you can see right here, these retail for $795 and she sold them for $175. So don't always go by what the retail price is because more than likely you're not going to get that price. There are in some cases rare items where you're going to get more than retail, but in most cases you are not. So just be careful with that if you're a new clothing or shoe reseller. Electro Air Compressor Webster Made in Canada for Porsche. Wow. Uh, let's see. This one she got in an estate sale for $12 and took a best offer of $155 plus shipping. This is a Midwest Booth Bay Lobster Boat RC Electric Powered Unassembled Scale Model Kit. And this one she got at the model buyout for $2 and sold it for $197.97 plus shipping. Now, those are the margins I like. Paid $2, sold it for $179.97. This is a Gunny Sacks Prairie Dress. It's a maxi tie back built in slip. She got this at a garage sale for $40 and sold it for $225 plus shipping. This is a Japanese sword smiths book from 1966 a state sale $4 sold it for $190 plus shipping my book house 12 volume set olive bupri miller 1971 book house for children she got these at a garage sale for 10 and sold them for $179.97 plus shipping 
The Double Decker Carousel 2003 Christmas Original by Mr. Christmas. Estate sale, $25 and sold it for $249.99 plus shipping. This is a Bodine Electric NCI 12R gear motor gear motor. So this is another one. Bought it for $8. Oh, you know what? I think I repeat. I think I already did this one. I apologize. Bought it for eight, sold it for $145 plus shipping. This is a Sasha doll and look at her. She is absolutely stunning in her box. Her socks even look like they're still white. I mean, how many times do you find dolls and everything is yellowing from being in the original packaging? She is minty and beautiful. And Terry did a really good job of showing condition, getting pictures of everything, showing um, the doll box, all angles. Her face paint is beautiful. I mean, just an amazing item. And she got this at an estate sale. She paid $125 for this and took a best offer of $250 plus shipping. The next item are these Royal Pre Prestige Surgical Stainless Steel Pot Pans 5-Piece Lot. Got them at a church sale for $10 and sold them for $330 plus shipping. National Lampoon The Humor Magazine 1972 to 1974 Lot of Three complete years and binders. Wow. Check it out. So all of them are there. It's the complete years in each binder. So that is pretty awesome. She got these for $18 at an estate sale and sold them for $314.97 plus shipping. I probably would have walked right past it. This is a MTH Rail King Amtrak um, meet, I'm sorry, Metro liner passenger train set. She got this for 125 at an estate sale. Another example of willing to pay up, but she sold it for a best offer of $526. So all in all, she spent $697 on these 23 items and she sold them for $4,000. $548.27. So who should you be following on YouTube? Oh my goodness. Please go follow my friend, Terry Mindful Recycle. She is a mega bolo finder. You are going to learn so much from her. And again, she is just a fantastic person and you guys are going to love her. So go follow her on eBay and sub her up. And as always, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.